the BMW M team, which brought Britain's Steve Soper to South Africa to spearhead two days of intense testing on the new BMW 318, which will make their stunning sat car debut on Saturday. One of the world's top saloon car pilots, Sober finished second to teammate Jochen Winkelhock in the British Touring Car Championship last year. A BMW factory driver since 1989, Sober has been a major player in the development in Germany of the lower, sleeker and re-engineered BMW 318 race cars. The new cars in Johnson Matthey and Castrol Futron colours will be in the hands of local factory drivers Dion Joubert and Sean van der Linde on Saturday. The new BMWs will also be in action in the British Touring Car Series this year. With around 3,000 kilometres of testing under his belt in Germany, Sober was the ideal person to provide a new dimension to the BMW M team's local research and development programme. Sober's job at Kyle Army was to pass on valuable input to both technical crew and the two drivers. Sober's last appearance at Kyle Army was in a German touring car race in 1991, prior to extensive development of the circuit. Everyone was interested to hear his views on the revamped Kyle Army. I think it's a great race track. Um, it's got everything. It's got fast and slow corners. It's got a little straight. It's a little bit bumpy. There's other smooth parts. I think it's a very demanding circuit anyway, and for touring cars, I think it's great. I think there's probably maybe two or three places you can overtake and I think it would make an excellent uh, racetrack for touring cars. Sober also had some interesting views on the worldwide upsurge in the popularity of touring car racing. Obviously we've, we've gained a little bit of exposure because of the drop of world sports cars. So we only have now Formula One and now touring cars. So we're probably second in motorsport to Formula One, which I think is great for touring cars. There are also other reasons for touring car popularity. This two-litre formula produces such close racing, nobody can get away from anybody else. The regulations are written so that uh, no manufacturer has an advantage. <coughs> um, but uh, it, it uh, produces very close racing and very exciting racing. And obviously the spectators like that. And they also can relate that what they drive on the road themselves, they can see the car looks the same on the racetrack. Sopo has been racing since 1971 and has won six national championship titles. With that kind of experience and a professional approach, his input was immediate. Is it only on the one side? More on this side. The car's nervous anyway, but it's more no very, very nervous when you turn right. Do you want the biggest problem, there's a, the, you know, all the others are 10 percenters. I've got a 90 percent problem mm -hmm. somewhere at the rear. You don't want to try a little bit more cost then? You're not, yeah, how's the steering effort there? The steering effort's okay. Running in tandem with the SOPA testing sessions, the BMW M team also ran an evaluation of Robbie Smith in the ex-Tony Viana, Jeff Goddard, Sean van der Linde, Castrol Futron BMW 318. Smith is the reigning Stanek Group N champion and one of South Africa's most versatile drivers. There's a possibility he'll take over one of the two older generation cars now available from the BMW team. Smith is one of three or four drivers being considered by the BMW M team to take over the two available cars. After driving standard saloon cars over the last couple of seasons, it took Smurf, as he's affectionately known in motor racing circles, a few laps to get used to the vagaries of a high-tech sat car. Smith won his Stanek Group N title in a BMW 325 running under the JSN Motors banner. He consistently had the beating of factory cars entered in BMW Junior team colours, but found that sat cars and Group N machinery are chalk and cheese. Hard work and it's, um, it's very, very twitchy. I found it to be most difficult getting used to the braking lines. I mean, I was group in and that ABS has really spoiled us. So um, I think we've got to learn how to drive again now. You've got to actually get the whole load of the car on the ground before you brake. And as you can see, I went through two tyres in, in no time and I was just locking up. But this last session was a hell of a lot better. It's a pity the, the gearbox is jumping out a second because I actually never got a nice lap at all in second gear. But uh, it feels good. 
With the Stanek Satcar series widely tipped as South Africa's formula of the future, the series is in its second year in South Africa. Top drivers like Smith are desperately keen to break into Satcar racing, and the BMW M team will also be evaluating other potential drivers, with their progress monitored every inch of the way by the electronic technology that's now part and parcel of a high-tech formula like Satcar's. In today's world of motor racing, success, even for drivers of Smith's caliber, does not come easily. We were sort of disappointed last year after having won the uh, Group N Championship that we never sort of moved automatically into that car and um, we must have left it a bit too late. Um, at the last minute BMW decided to get the new cars and um, luckily the opportunity came up so hopefully we can put something together. And uh, really, it's, uh, it's just in discussion now with JSN and the BMW Motorsport team. And I think we're going to probably get something going very soon. <laughs>